Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel. And um, here is an interesting um, document that appeared on the uh, Microsoft, one of the Microsoft websites for the end of service for the different versions of Windows for um, the um, Education Enterprise Edition. And um, one of the things about this version, of course, um, the first version of the year is always the 18-month uh, cycle that we know. And for consumers, every version is 18 months. What is interesting, and this is very, very interesting, is that the availability date is kind of interesting. So here we have availability of May 27, 2020. That's today. So at some point today, could there be a launch? That's going to be interesting. Also, somebody in, on Twitter shared a link and showed that the media creation tool for version 2004 is already available. It's not available on the main download page yet, but is link is giving the um, <laughs> the um, tool media creation tool for this new version. And of course, we learned that it is going to expire December fourteenth, twenty twenty one. 18 months. Um, I want to take this opportunity to answer a couple of questions yeah, that people have, uh, of course, asked. So, when is it going to be released? According to this page, today. If it's not today, it'll be probably tomorrow. But we are hours away from this new version of Windows 10, the May 2020 update. Will it be forced on you? Uh, this is a question I had quite a few times since yesterday. No, it's a optional download. So if you're on the November 2019 or May 2019 update, this will not be pushed. But one thing, if you are on the October 2018 update, you might start getting pushed to this. Will everybody get it? Not at first. It starts slowly, it goes in waves, and Microsoft will test, of course, with that. And it probably will be available mostly for seekers, but of course you can force it, which I don't recommend. And a lot of people are eager to get this and want to force it and so on. I always say, wait, there's no big rush. You don't have to take it now, uh, even though it looks like it's going to be a pretty good rollout. Uh, you never know. But uh, you're not going to be forced on it unless you're at already in an, an expired version or soon to expire version of Windows 10. So we'll keep an eye on this and, of course, update as the day goes by with all the information that we know. And we will update as soon as we see that the main download page is updated for the May 2020 update. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.